Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and this is Ravens Daily for February 14, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day to all the lovers in the world and to the women in my life. A special shout out to all the Sip the Talent Patreons. You guys are the backbone of the channel, and if you're not a Patreon, head on over to patreon.com backslash Sip the Talent to sign up. And let's get started with today's content. Before we get into today's topic, 30% of you guys that watch are not subscribed to the channel. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and help me reach the short-term goal of 10,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it and thank you in advance. Salary cap space is going to be an issue for the Ravens, now with Lamar Jackson's contract on the books for more than $32 million. Jackson is by far the most expensive Raven for the upcoming season, but the two-time MVP has company with left tackle Ronnie Stanley and cornerback Marlon Humphrey not far behind with large cap figures that the Ravens may want to tweak this offseason to free up space. This Monday, February 19th, the Ravens can avoid dead money on the salary cap for this upcoming season if they reach deals with some of their free agents who have void years at the end of their deals. The best candidate for this would be right guard Kevin Zeitler. Zeitler and the Ravens have both expressed interest in getting a deal done and soon before Zeitler will hit the open market in March. Another four-year contract free agents are running back Gus Edwards, safety Geno Stone, cornerback Rocky Sin, and wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. I personally would let Rocky Sin and Gus Edwards go, but that's me. Put it in the comment section which one of those free agents would you want to keep. The Ravens would have to move fast on these potential extensions to beat Monday's deadline for that. Zyler and Aguilar may be the best options if, these, if there is interest on both sides. Stone and Edwards may find larger paydays in the open market as free agents next month. On Tuesday, February 20, the franchise tag window opens. It closes two weeks later, but this is an option for defensive lineman Justin Matabike if the Ravens want to keep him. But need more time to negotiate a long-term deal. Matabike is coming off a career best and a Pro Bowl season, not to mention one of the best for interior defensive linemen with 13 sacks. He would be a free agent priority number one for the Ravens, one would think, but he would be expensive. Tagging Justin Matter BK would be right around $20.3 million in 2024. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this content, hit that like button. And if you're really feeling it, share it on your socials. I really would appreciate it. Our second topic, Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson boasted his career resume last Thursday, winning the 2023 AP NFL MVP award. Jackson became the 11th player in NFL history to win at least two NFL MVP honors. Now, according to FanDuel Sportsbook, Jackson holds the fifth best odds, plus 1,200, to win the 2024 AP NFL MVP honor. Kansas City Chiefs' Pat Mahomes, Thanos himself, boosts the best odds at 650, positive 650 to take home the league's most prestigious individual award next year. Mahomes ended the season as a serious contender to collect the award, but he ultimately finished in seventh place in, when the voting came out this year. Josh Allen was plus 800, uh, Joe Burrow plus 1,000, and C.J. Stroud plus 1,100 are the lone other players who currently hold better odds than Lamar Jackson for next season's MVP award. If Jackson is able to defy the odds and be the 2024 NFL MVP, he will become the seventh player ever to win the honor three times. Can Lamar do the unthinkable? Can he win the MVP in back-to-back -back seasons? I don't doubt that Lamar can do anything he sets his mind to, but I think at this stage in his career, Lamar could give a flying flip about MVPs. He wants Lombardis. Now, I appreciate you guys taking a small piece of your Valentine's Day to kick it with me. If you like the video, smash the like button and let's see if we can get this video to 200 likes. If you're new, tap the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any off-season content. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. And I appreciate you for spending a little bit of your Valentine's Day with me. Peace and love to you and your loved ones. And I'm out.